Hey buddies, Miss Puggy here, coming at you with another Borderlands 3 video. Today we're going to be showcasing Moe's new skill tree. Currently Moe's new skill, Iron Cub, is really, really... Eh. <laughs> like right now it doesn't deal a lot of damage. Its main purpose at the current moment is for utility to apply stacks and stuff and allow bonus damage for Moe's. So I went all in on that. 100% on foot Moe's build because obviously you can't pilot Iron Cub. Until they hot fixes Iron Cub's damage, we're going to be focusing on Moe's damage. Maybe in the future we'll do an Iron Iron Cub focus build, but for now, this is going to be the build we use for Iron Cub to increase Moses' damage. Let's start by showing the one of the most key items you have on this build. You want to use Flare because Iron Cub does a fantastic job at never going away. So Iron Cub always has really high fuel count because of a certain skill cap we have on the fork tree. So you always have the maximum amount of damage bonus from Flare. It doesn't really matter what points you have on the class mod, it just matters is the ability of Flare which increases the damage based on how much fuel you have. And with this build, you'll always have like near max fuel until you have Iron Bear out for at least 10 minutes straight. Then it slowly starts lowering. But we have a couple of ways to allow us to not have that happen. Let's go right into the tree and show you what I'm using for my build with Iron Cub. Since at the current moment, Iron Cub doesn't deal a lot of damage, a lot of these skill points is to focus on Moe's herself or keeping Iron Cub out as long as possible. One of the key points we have right here is Harmonis Harvick, which increases our gun damage based on all the elements. So we run four elemental guns and an elemental shield. The reason why we're not using a fire grenade is because we want to have as many status effects applying at once because the more status effects happens, the quicker we get our stacks and abilities to proc. But we'll talk about more about that later. Another key point we have here is running on fumes. We have lots of stuff that ignites the enemies. Our current grenade ignites enemies like that immediately so you'll always have iron bears fuel not being consumed so that's very very important but let's get back to the key pieces of this build since we're primarily running a fire based mose build we want to of course use an old god now there isn't any anointment i can use that would increase our damage or anything because there's not a lot of action skill active anointments i don't think there's any action skill active anointments that would benefit mose at all with this build so right now we're just using a generic old god with on action skill and you know bonus incendiary damage uh, we use old god God, if you guys don't know, increases our incendiary damage of 20%. We also run a reoccurring hex. The reason why I run a reoccurring hex is because it allows us to apply status effects really, really quickly. Since we use fire in the skag den, this allows all our splash damage to get fire damage. So recurrent hex will apply the electric status effects, which you know, builds up our fire rate stacks really, really quickly. But not only that, it ignites the enemies, so we can have running on fumes activating really, really fast. And we use, while Iron Bear is active, taking damage has a 20% chance to spawn a grenade. This is fantastic. The cool thing about this is that you can take the damage, or Iron Cub can take the damage, and it'll spawn the grenade. So sometimes Iron Cub will be taking damage, and the grenade will just spawn out of you. And sometimes you'll take the damage, and the grenade will spawn out of you. It's great. It can happen with either one of you. So it's very, very cool to have this grenade to applying status effects to always have our abilities proccing. And the artifact, I didn't really know what to use. We are using the pearl only because the pearl increases our damage by a significant amount with consecutive hits. And most of the time, Moses is really good at hitting consecutive hits, so I thought, why not use it? Of course, you can use Elemental Projector to try to ignite yourself to get bonus incendiary damage. That could probably deal a lot more damage with, than the pearl, but I'm just using a pearl because I didn't have any ideas on that one. The main anointment we're using on all our weapons is while Iron Cub is active, weapon damage is increased by 100%. The only weapon I don't have that on is our light show. I have a consecutive hits light show just in case we want to kill a certain boss, a big enemy. This allows us to do that really quickly, but otherwise we're using Iron Cub active weapon increased damage on Bloodstar Beast, the Lob, and the Burning Scourge. Of course, all fire damage, so we can always have the Harmonious Harvix giving us bonus damage. Another key ability is Fired Up. Fired Up does a really good job at increasing your fire rate, so if you have any guns that don't fire really well, this increases your fire rate by 25%. You get max stacks like that immediately, so you don't have to worry about building up your stacks as long as you're using a hex. It's super, super easy. So we're always going to have 25% more fire rate. And the weapon I'm using on Iron Cub is Parker Softening. Since Iron Cub doesn't deal like any damage, why not just use a, an ability that increases damage from all sources? So Iron Cub will soften all the targets for us, basically putting slag on them and allowing us to deal more damage. So allowing Moe's herself to deal more damage. And then we also use Efficiency Engine for Iron Cub, which increases our gun damage the longer Iron Cub has been active. Really great ability. It does crazy amounts of damage really, really quick. It builds up really, really quickly as well. Real quick note I want to tell you. So Harmonix Havoc, if you get downed and then you get back up, Harmonix Havoc's 
for some reason goes away. I'm not really sure why. When you get downed in Fight for Your Life and you revive, make sure to switch your weapon and then switch back because then you will get your Harmonix Harvick stacks back. I'm not really sure why. I'm assuming it's bug. Maybe it's a feature. I think it's a really stupid mechanic to have to switch every time you get in Fight for Your Life, but it's whatever. We're able to kill pretty much any enemy we want with this build. It's very, very easy. We're able to deal millions of damage really, really easily. You have a bunch of multipliers that just increase your damage by a crap ton. You always want to make sure that you you yourself are in the fray. Always some throwing some grenades out. Always make sure you have a grenade on, out on the field so you can apply status effects and always try to keep igniting enemies so you can get running on fumes activating as much as possible because you want maximum bonus from the flare and because we're running the flare our damage gets increased by a crap ton plus the anointment plus the old god you just have a lot of bonuses with this build that increases your damage now it's a bit of an awkward build for most most players because we're used to action skill and type of stuff so it's a little bit awkward for most most players. It felt really weird when I first tried it, but after an hour and a half, it felt really, really great being able to not have to ever worry about using Iron Bear. It just felt refreshing. It just felt really, really fun to be able to not have to go in Iron Bear constantly and not have to worry about refreshing your action skill ends. For people who main Zane, you're gonna be a pro at this build. Let's move on to more points in the skill tree. So let me go over what we're really doing in the skill tree. Obviously, what we wanna do is go max out on Bear Mother, you know, the purple skill tree because we want running on fumes so we have flare always active but another capstone we want demolition woman we want short fuse because we're always on foot i found that since we're always on foot we want a build that maximizes the damage from moe's herself so you always want a lot of points that would only help moe's so i use short fuse because that is just an amazing on foot moe's ability basically doubles your damage that you deal it sometimes even triples if you get really lucky with the secondary explosion chances but you want to of course do what you normally do on the blue tree except never get auto bear because you know auto bear doesn't work with Iron Cub. In a perfect world, we would never have to get Stainless Deer Bear, but I have to get it to advance down skill tree. There isn't anything else over here that we really want, so we're primarily just maximizing our points here. Iron Bear, Iron Cub comes back really, really quickly. In general, you don't need too many points on Grizzled. I thought four is fine enough. We want to boost everything else, so we're done with that. And we ignore the Red Tree completely. I know that seems a little kind of intuitive because a lot of on foot most builds, you would obviously get four of those, one of those, five Drowning and Brown because you know that's like one of the best kill skills in the game probably and then experimental munition and three points in that we're not running any death lists or anything so desperate measures isn't needed and drowning and brass you know in a, in a perfect world that'd be the amazing like amazing choice that's like what you would want to get but we can't have that because we want to focus on Moe's herself i found the maximum amount of damage you could get without running a death list and just bossing and not killing any mobs you wouldn't actually get a lot of benefits from this tree so instead we're focusing on the green tree for the mid capstone. We're getting clouded lead obviously so we could not consume our ammo and get bonus incendiary damage. We have Stoke the Embers since we're fire build. This will increase our fire damage by 30% in general. This ability just increases our ammo regen. Very, very useful for that. We have Scrappy. I didn't really want to have to put a point in the Scrappy, but there's no point in putting anything over here. So just one point in there. And this build, you always want to be moving around. So 6% more damage is, you know, that's free. It's pretty free. And then we want to get Rushing Offensive. Rushing Offensive is an amazing ability with this build because we're not using anything that reduces our health. Health, and we're not using the blood letter so oftentimes we'll get our shield decrease and you'll only have your health and since we have a bunch of recurring hexes iron cubs doing his job by attacking enemies you always will get life steal and heal yourself really really quickly never gonna die with this build i mean the only time i die with this build is when a hex kills me by accident or i kill myself with a lob but if you just keep running, you're never going to die. I, like, if you see the footage right here, my health is constantly being brought back up. I never, ever die because rushing offensive just doesn't allow it. So if you can always be running, try doing that. Weapon choices you choose, it don't really matter too much. You just want to use top meta weapons that every single build uses. Anything you want. The main annoyment you want is while Iron Cub is active, weapon damage is increased by 100%. So I just chose to go for Scourge because that's just a brain dead rocket launcher. Just kills everything very very easily we got the lob just in case there's anything that comes close to us it was did a really good job of killing tront so i'm really happy i chose that we chose the blood start beast that kills everything mayhem modifiers we're using is 
Big Kick Energy, Floor is Lava, Laser Flare, and Post Primordium. I'm using Big Kick Energy because we want to focus on gun damage since we're only using most. So that increases our damage by 25%, and that's a lot when you're dealing millions of damage. We have Floor is Lava because that encourages you rushing offensives, so you always want to be running around, so you'll never have to worry about creating that pool underneath you. We have Laser Flare. The spinning traps don't really do any damage to you, and sometimes it'll hit you and spawn recurring hex because of your anointment so that's like a easy thing and just in case there's no enemies around you could get, kill a spinner and get yourself back up from fight for your life and then post modium that's like on every single build obviously i don't even have to explain that but if you want you could move on to mayhem level 11 for those of you who don't want mayhem modifiers personally i'm at the point in the game where i played enough for mayhem modifiers don't really matter in fact most of the time mayhem modifiers actually help me they just allow me to focus on specific damage type and increase my damage i i, I find Find mayhem modifiers to be okay so if you want you could be mayhem 11 but i go for mayhem 10 for more damage if you want instead of using reincurring hex you could use a storm front you could use any grenade that spawns lots and lots of things and chains lightnings and stuff like that you want something that basically applies status effects really really quickly i'm really excited to eventually make an iron cub build that actually focuses on Iron Cub's damage, but until they hotfix its damage and mayhem scaling, I'm gonna have to go for this build for the optimal mayhem 10 for skill tree oriented build for Moe's, because there's no point in trying to optimize Iron Cub's damage when he has no mayhem scaling, so you just wanna optimize all Moe's damage itself. I'm excited to see what the community does with this particular skill tree and see what else they can do with it. And for those who didn't get a good look at the skill tree, here's one last look. We got all the way down in purple, all the way down in blue nothing in red and cap mid capstone on green this is our guardian ranks this is our mayhem mode and if you guys want to check out any of my other builds we have a mose build that primarily focuses on throwing grenades it is a 432 percent unforgiven plus a gas call so you just face roll everything by just pressing the g button if you want any iron bear oriented build we have a 50 50 flare build that optimizes mose and iron bear damage at the same time so if you want to check that out click there as well if you want to see any of my more fun builds we have a one shot everything zane build that is primarily about running as fast as possible and using the massacre crossbow to one shot everything we have another on foot mose build that gives you infinite amp shots it's very very fun and uses a sleeping giant which is a recently buffed gun that, to deal millions of damage really easily and if you want another face roll build we have a peregrine plus light speed flak build that is just all about sending out rack attacks and holding an unforgiving gun to optimize crits and just deal tons and tons of damage. We did the entire Guardian and Malawan takedown without firing a single bullet with that build. It's absolutely amazing. Alright, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I hope y'all have a great day. <laughs> bye bye and the last shall be first to immerse in a pass out heat facing him up with a moxie melted he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell born a cave with a torch on a wall then a window arrangement of porcelain doll